going on internet welcome today we're going to install these beautiful core moto brake lines lines plural on the front of the zx10 if you saw the video where we installed the rear brake line on the zx10 that was pretty easy it's pretty straightforward um, the front's a little bit different one we've got two brake lines to install um, two with the front you always need to pay attention to suspension travel and making sure that you have the right length lines because sometimes you do get the wrong parts so you want to make sure just like with the rear we made sure the fittings had the right bends on them okay and which bend went on the caliper side which bend went on the master cylinder side plus with the zx10 at least the 2015 model um, there's a splitter so you have one line coming down from the master cylinder into a splitter and then from the splitter you got your two lines run out to your um brake calipers yeah all right so i am listening to music while i work in this video i have it down a little bit not because i fucking care about youtube and whether they copyright the music in the background i, I don't give a shit um but i realize not everybody likes the same taste of music that that i like and um i'm trying to keep it down so i can hear it but hopefully you guys don't hear it or it annoys you so right here's the splitter Right now, we're right above the front fender looking at the underside of the bottom triple clamp. So we've got one brake line here coming from down, coming down from the master cylinder into our splitter. And then we've got a brake line here going to the left caliper, brake line here going to the right caliper. And that's left and right as you're sitting on the motorcycle. Okay, that's very important. And then we've got a sensor here that runs along the brake line down to the left caliper again left as you're sitting on the bikes definitely a little bit more work than the rear but still not that bad of a job it'll it'll go nice and smooth so oh yeah the lighting on the table is too bright god damn it i'm just gonna move this shit from the table uh, i love the fact that Cormoto labels the brake lines this one's labeled left this one's labeled right the other thing that i wanted to show you guys was uh another indicator that this is indeed the left side and this is the right side are the number of holders that are on this brake line versus this this one's only got one this one's got three and i'm going to show you what those three are for here's our sensor wire and let me get some light because you can't see shit. here's the left side caliper here is that sensor wire and it attaches to the brake line using this little clip. And there's another one right here that attaches the brake line to the fender. And then a third one right here. So there's our three, there's our three little holders. So I know that this brake line is made to be the left one. So they labeled it correctly, but it's always nice to have multiple indicators pointing you into the same direction. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely left. This is definitely right. This is the master. Um, cylinder end over here. This is the caliper ends over here. So now that we know where everything goes, I think we're ready to start. Ready to start breaking shit. All right, something I'm super excited to see on the bike is notice the green sticker around the rim right here. And then imagine the green brake line with the green sticker on the wheel. And then you've got a little bit of black right here that kind of breaks up the green and then boom, more green. Oh, shit's gonna look sweet. I cannot wait to get these on. Okay, so we know we've got what appears to be the right brake lines. We know which one's left, which one's right. We know that we're getting rid of the splitter, which I like that idea. So both brake lines are gonna connect. We got a double-sized banjo bolt. Both brake lines are gonna connect to the master cylinder and then we'll have independent lines running down each caliper. To, to me, that's an upgrade. That's better than um, the splitter design that the bike comes with. Excited about that. So. We know where everything's gonna go. We know what we gotta do now. The first thing we're gonna do, here's a plan. You gotta have a plan, right? You don't have to have a great plan, but you need to have a plan. You need to know what you're doing. Um, the reason why you don't need to have a great plan is because if your plan doesn't work, you can, you can change it. it. That is a possibility. You can change your plan. It's fine, it's okay. Um, so the plan is we're gonna pull the sensor wire off of those little clips so that it's free from all the brake lines. And then um, I think what I'm going to do is pull the, um, the brake line at the top on the master cylinder. I'm going to pull that off, swap in the double, run the lines down, just kind of let them hang loose there. And then I'm going to pull 
the splitter off of the triple clamp and then I think we'll be in a good place to quickly swap out both calipers. I think it's a good plan. I think it's good. We're gonna roll with that plan and see what happens. Shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be too bad. And then we'll bleed everything out, throw away the rest of that crap that came off the bike because we don't need it anymore. All right, that plan actually worked out perfectly. If I had to do it again, honestly, I wouldn't change a thing, which is um, a little bit surprising. Usually my plans are crap and I have to change something in the middle of whatever operation I'm on. But that plan worked out really well. Um, just to reiterate one more time, a lot of vehicles outside, waiting for them to pass, and then they go. And I'm gonna start over from the beginning. Okay, last time, spike. Okay, so that plan actually worked out perfectly. If I had to do it again, I wouldn't change a thing, honestly. Um, one more time, the plan, first thing I did is I pulled the clips that held the sensor wire to the brake line, so the sensor wire was completely free. And then um, I removed the brake lines from the holders that are actually riveted on the fender. Then I loosened the splitter that's underneath the bottom of the lower triple clamp. So everything is just kind of loose and free. And then um, I went ahead and routed the new core motor brake lines in position so that as soon as I could pull the master cylinder banjo bolt off, it's ready, it's just sitting there, laying there, swap them. Um, and then I did the right side caliper, again, right side as you're sitting on the bike. Um, swap that banjo bolt with the new core moto banjo bolt brake line. Then I pulled everything out away from the bike. The only thing that had um, the old brake lines attached to it was the left caliper. So um, that I, I wanted to get everything out of there just so I wouldn't leak any more brake fluid onto the fender or anything like that. Um, definitely have rags and paper towels handy. There's no way you're gonna bust any of these banjo bolts loose and not have something drip out. And you don't wanna let the brake fluid sit anywhere because it will eat through paint. It's very, very toxic. Um, if you do leak brake fluid onto something, wipe it off as quickly as possible. Um, so from there, I released the, or removed the uh, left side caliper <laughs> banjo bolt and uh, swapped the, the new Cormoto brake line banjo bolt in. And then from there, I just bled. Um, word of advice, most of these new radial master cylinders, um, they have a bleeder valve on top. Start your bleeding from there. Make sure you got plenty of brake fluid. Keep an eye on your reservoir because it's going to go quickly. And um, wow, once you've got pressure at the master cylinder, you, you, you're bleeding the master cylinder, you've got pressure in the lever, and, um, then go ahead and work your way down. You know, obviously get all the air bubbles out. Um, I didn't film any of the bleeding because I, I've, this is like my third brake job video. I've done two on this bike. There's a whole playlist on the Jixer build, so um, plenty of videos there to check out. Um, but bleeding, it's, it's the same old, same old. You know, squeeze, 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 open your valve, close your valve, release, repeat. Um, make sure you've got like a clear hose so you can see the air coming out. If you've got really old brake fluid, you'll be able to see the color. Um, new brake fluid is generally pretty clear. Old brake fluid is going to be, you know, more of a brownish kind of a color. So if you have a clear hose, it's easy to see the air coming out. It's easy to see the old versus new brake fluid coming out. Um, what else, man? I think that's about it, guys. So uh, I'm stoked. These things are beautiful. Finally got all the brake lines swapped on both my bikes, the Jixer and the Ninja. That was a lot. All right, pretty easy job. I think anybody can do it. It's not hard, just take your time. Didn't use a lot of tools. Put a picture up there for that. And um, that's it, man. Till next time, keep the rubber side down. We'll. Uh, See you in the next video. Don't really know what that is, but there'll be another one.
<laughs> what the fuck else am I going to do? All right, guys. See you later. Bye.